to your second jQuery tutorial. In the last tutorial, we assembled jQuery file and wrote a simple script which is printed hello world on the body. So in this tutorial, I'll be explaining you what the script does and basically I will explain jQuery to you. Now in this script down here, it writes hello world to body and let's see that first on the Chrome browser our Chrome browser so as you can see this program down here prints hello world to the browser and why does it print hello world I'll explain you now now jQuery to use any of the jQuery command we have to include the keyword jQuery now basically since jQuery is a library we need to tell JavaScript that whenever I use this keyword jQuery do not process that JavaScript with your traditional methods but pass the control to this library and let it pass the control after assembling to you that means for example if I'm typing jQuery do something then do not pass the control directly to the interpreter of JavaScript but actually use this library jQuery right here which we have included to do something and then this library would tell the native JavaScript app what to do so and now you'll ask me that why are we using this dollar sign now jQuery is equal to dollar now by this I mean that jQuery uses a symbol dollar as a shorthand for jQuery word so even if we use the word jQuery down here uh, just comment out this line uh, see the browser it would work exactly same so basically dollar sign is a shorthand for jQuery word okay so what's next the next thing in jQuery is that jQuery is a library mainly used to manipulate DOM and by DOM I mean that selecting elements putting values together and assimilating elements grabbing values storing data and all that stuff so we know that to start a jQuery command we need to use a dollar sign first to let JavaScript compiler know that we are now into the jQuery file instead of traditional JavaScript now these two parentheses contain a selector now selector here means that selector means that uh, the element we want to work with for example if I open the DOM tree down here let's make it out of focus yeah so this is my DOM tree down here and suppose I want to work with the element body so what I'll do is in jQuery I'll use the selector as body so now jQuery knows okay so I have to work with body and what I have to do the next thing is the command or method which you want to follow with the selector for example I want to say that body.html the HTML of the body should be let's say one two three four five or anything you want so this command right here tells jQuery tells JavaScript first first of all the dollar sign tells to use jQuery use jQuery then the parenthesis say to select body because body is inside these two parentheses then HTML is a method in jQuery library which either sets or gets the HTML of any element and by that I mean that if I just do HTML and store it in a variable then X has the HTML of body uh, but if I do 
like this so one two three if I pass a value down here then I'm actually setting the HTML of body and in this variable I'm getting the HTML of body I'll discuss these methods in the later tutorials but for now just remember that we are just setting the HTML of the body to one two three and the parenthesis of HTML obviously sets the HTML value so this is how jQuery works kind of and in the future tutorials we'll be going deep into jQuery and learning how to work with jQuery actually and work with prototypes and models and how jQuery worked and basically we'll be learning how jQuery actually works with the prototypal model so this was all about this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my videos